Hello students, welcome to Concept Live. Today we will be discussing one of the most important factor of chemistry. See with the chemistry is the study of matter. Now everything which surrounds us is matter. And matter is composed of fundamental particles which are called atoms. Now the topic which I am taking today is a very important topic of the boards as well as, as well as the competitive examination. It belongs to the class 9, 10th, 11th, 12th level as well as the NEET, JE, KVPY, Olympiads. It covers all the portions of the particularly chemistry part and on the whole I can say it is a very important part of the chemistry. You have to go through it whenever you have to attempt any examination of the chemistry. We will be discussing alpha scattering experiment. We will be discussing alpha scattering experiment today. Dear student, this experiment was provided by Rutherford, Ernest Rutherford. And since it was given by Rutherford, hence it is also regarded as Rutherford's alpha scattering experiment. Now what was the basic aim regarding this experiment? It was to determine the location of inner particles, subatomic particles of the atom. Now what atom interiorly consists of? Now I'll show you an animated view of Rutherford's alpha scattering experiment and now we'll move on with what happens in this experiment. In this experiment beta, let us see what happens. Now in this experiment, I'll explain you. There is an emitter of alpha particle. See, there is an alpha particle emitter. Now what are alpha particles? Remember in your mind, alpha particles are positively charged particles. There is an alpha particle emitter that is any radioactive particle and this radioactive particle is placed in a lead chamber so that we can increase the intensity of alpha particles which are being bombarded on a gold foil. There is a thin gold foil. Let us see what happens further. See, these are the slits. These are the second process. Is this is the second part? Is the slit? These are the slits. Now, what happens through these slits? Alpha particles are moving here and there in all the directions. When they pass out through the slits, they move along one direction only. That can that that is we can have a one-dimensional approach for the alpha particles. Now, when they pass out through the slit. Alpha particles. In the further section, what we see that we have a gold foil over there. Now this is the alpha particle emitter. You can see it very well. This is the alpha particle emitter and this is the cross section of the alpha particle emitter. So the intensity of alpha particles is increased. As the alpha particles pass out through the slits and now they enter in the fundamental section. Now let us see what this section consists of. First of all you have to keep it in mind that what is this section. See my dear students, this is a thin gold foil. This is a thin gold foil. And it is surrounded by a circular screen. Gold foil surrounded by a circular screen. Now what is the reason of this screen? The gold foil consists of atom. Why gold is chosen? It is a very important question of the competitive examination. Why gold is chosen? See, gold is that element which has the maximum atomic density. That is the number of atoms in a very thin sheet of gold also are many in number. So the atomic density is very very high of the gold. What was the thinking, what was the thought process of Rutherford was that the alpha particle should not pass out freely. It must pass out by the atom so that his detection would be perfect. If the atom, if the alpha particle would have passed out through any free space, we cannot detect out that what would be the uh, result of that emission. So gold was chosen. Now surrounding the screen is a circular screen. Now what the, it is a even rotatable circular screen so that around the 360 degree we can locate 
द पोजिशन ऑफ एल्फा पार्टिकल वेर इट हिट्स After passing out through the gold foil. Now one more thing. The inner side of this circular screen was coated by zinc sulfide. Remember the point ZnS, zinc sulfide. Now what's the reason behind zinc sulfide? ZnS causes a scintillation. That is a mark we can detect by means of ZnS that where the alpha particle is hitting. so to locate the future of alpha particle after passing out through this gold foil we can detect by means of the zinc sulfide coated screen let us move forward because the alpha particles are on the way you can see this green line okay let the alpha particles hit the gold foil see here the hitting has called alpha particles falling on the gold foil stay connected beta now see what happens what is happening see what is happening over there i'll again pause you see what has happened we will conclude this in our uh, further discussion what is happening see we are seeing that maximum of the alpha particles remember my words maximum of the alpha particles hitting the gold foil pass out without any deflection second point is that some alpha particles are deflected at small angles another point a very few alpha particles you can see a very few alpha particles pass out through the gold foil they are either deflected at very large angles or they are rebounded back on their pathway remember my observations i again play the animation and you can find out these observations see the green colored particles and what the point scintillation i was speaking i was saying these are the scintillations so that we can easily detect the location of alpha particle on this zinc sulfide screen there is a circular screen and any mark any scintillation mark on that screen will give an evidence of the coming alpha particle see the maximum alpha particles are in the same plane as they were hitting on the foil now let us see let us conclude this observation see maximum have, pa have passed out straight to so path of alpha particles hitting the gold foil let us observe these are the alpha particles these are the alpha particles maximum pass out without any deflection some pass out through uh, some pass out at small angles and a very less are rebounded back now the animation of this process is entirely complete so this was rutherford's alpha scattering experiment